everybody. Good afternoon. Sound check. Let me know if you can hear me. Can I just adjust the microphone real quick? Okay. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, uh, all right, sorry, I'm uh, just a little bit behind today because I had, um, this weekend I did some extra scanning, like extra, extra, extra scanning, so I just wanted to, uh, so I, I, you know, I have, I have to scan a long list here, so we're going, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, usually questions are at the end, but I'll go ahead and answer a couple of questions that I saw, Paula, uh, Paula, I see your question, and then Reggie, um, we'll talk about that in a minute um so paula could you please review your thinking process and the charts when you decided to enter the queues in your 401k last week watch your f facebook video um did consider entering the two green bars the 20 on the daily but didn't have the confidence to execute and since i have not yet entered maybe tomorrow on the daily one two three sure um yeah no problem um yeah let's talk about the market and i'll tell you the thinking i actually it's unfortunate that some of you are not in the strategic day trader room because sometimes stuff happens during the day not just overnight and so what happened was on the queues i was bullish on that day but i was i didn't know it was the bottom uh, so that was i don't know what day that was so i said queues higher to 324 it clo it went to 329 or th yeah 329 you see 328.95 I was surprised and so um, and so the next day so I'll show you what happened exactly what happened so the next day so I, I figured you know we so, so the next day we gapped up I think it was uh, FOMC yeah that was the next day and then I'm still not in the market so check it out this was the next day I'm still not in the market because the market gapped up and ran up and I'm thinking, wow, maybe we bottomed. But then FOMC comes out, and then we collapse. And then, of course, that was the bottom. And then from there, back up to the highs. I'm still not in. So now I'm thinking, wow, I missed the bottom. I, I, I wasn't thinking this was going to be the bottom. And I missed the bottom. That's how it looked. The third day after the bottom, which I almost never ever enter, we got the 15 minute buy setup. See it? So that's the 15 minute buy setup. So I decided to use it as an entry, only because it was also at support, the top of the prior day's candle, and then we collapsed and made new highs. So that was, I figured this would be really strong support. It didn't initially go, and so I decided I decided, so initially I, I just did it in my swing account. I decided, wait a second, I have a little bit of buying power left in my IRA account because my IRA account, I have the yen and the baba, Chinese, both Chinese. Uh, the yen is the triple leverage FCX, base, FC, FXI, basically, and baba's baba. And I, I bought 500 more shares of the Qs I put it in my IRA and I removed 500 out of my swing account. So I only have in my swing account, I have a thousand of the TQQ and then 500 in my IRA, basically. And that buy setup worked. And then after it worked, still, you know, is this for sure the bottom? No, but then it started to grind up. So the next day, look how tight the trend is. So I said, okay, now that I have all of these bars above my entry, we have a a real nice grind I'm just gonna keep the stop here and not get shaken out luckily we continued to grind into the close we closed at the at the high and today I, I I thought when I saw the initial drop I said and I said so in the room uh, boy it's I'm gonna probably give back everything on the TQQ okay because uh, I just figured we're gonna pull back and we're gonna start the pull back and I didn't get in at the bottom if you get in at the bottom it's really hard to get shaken out as long as you stick with your original stop but if you get in on the third day up here oh it's super easy to get shaken out because you come in and the market comes in stops you out because your stop is here I mean my stop is on the is over here it's just it's on the TQQ I'm I'm reviewing the cues it's the same 
So here's the TQQ. It's exa exactly the same. It's just triple the leverage. So my stop is here. It's not at the daily lows. So I, I, I said today I'm probably going to give it all back. And, um, you know, it's up six, seven thousand dollars, almost seven, not quite seven, the TQQ. Uh, luckily, I was surprised. Here's the, the start of the pullback, right? We got the big red bar. I was surprised to see the market go right back up. So here's the cues. I wasn't expecting it. Once I saw the, the drop like so, I thought today was going to be a, the pullback day for the next couple of days. And then, you know, I would get shaken out of my TQQ because I don't have, I'm not sized to 40. I'm sized just to that 15 minute pivot, which I don't remember the exact pr price, but it's like over here, 47 bucks. And then I was surprised to see the market get bought. It did get sold double top and we fell back and I was like, oh, okay, that was just temporary. We're going to probably come back down and then only to get bought again towards the end of the day. So the rallies here, I really didn't see coming at all. Uh, now, do I think we might have topped for now? Maybe, but we would need to gap down or break under today's low. If we do that, then you can start to watch for a long off the 20 MA on the daily chart of the queues. Okay, so I would be patient because you are you wouldn't be buying the, the bottom. Like me, I didn't buy the bottom. So I would be patient and wait for the queues to actually give you a real trigger. Now, one thing you could do is, uh, I'm trying to take out my annotation tool. One thing w one can do is, it, you know, if you want, let's say it comes in, which I think we still might, we might gap down and sell off tomorrow. If we do come in uh, over the next couple of days and you do get a buy setup, you can use the buy setup as an entry. So what's a buy setup? A buy setup is when you get three lower highs or three red bars in a row. But what I'm saying is, you know, any kind of a pullback, let's say we get this kind of a pullback and then you get a doji bar and then above the doji bar is high, above the doji bar is high, you play long, okay? So well, it's supposed to be a green bar. I'm just, it, it, it's an annotation tool that I use. It's not, you know, it's not that easy to change colors and to control it. So here's the buy setup. Okay, hypothetical buy setup. One, what, what you could do, what one can do is use the buy setup right here as an entry right here long. You can put the stop here, but know that you'll easily get, could easily get, get shaken out or you can say, well, I'll get in here and I'll use maybe double the risk or something like this, big risk, bigger than usual, and keep the stock down here under the daily lows. This way, I'll have bigger than normal risk, but I have a, a, lot, a lot of room, given it a lot of room and it's a long-term play, it's unlikely to get shaken out. So that's another way to do it, which is what I'm doing with some of the longs that I missed out on. I was in shop. I had 125 shares of shop, which for this stock is a lot. Um, uh, 25 shares in my IRA and 100 in my swing account. And I got stopped out. I, I didn't really wait for it to take out the red bar, which it did. I just killed it under the green bars low right here somewhere. So this bar stopped me out. And that was the bottom. So I got back in it, but I didn't see it right away. I didn't know that the market had bottomed because it was very, the way we bottomed was not, was atypical, was not typical at all. So I had to get in here this day. Uh, I got it at, uh, uh, hold on a second, shop. I got it late. I got it at 6.52. I mean, super late this day, uh, towards the end of the day. And I'm sized to all the way the, down here. Uh, I did the same thing with, PayPal, which I had in the newsletter, but I I didn't think the market had bottomed, so I it wasn't an official play on the breakout, long, and boom, so it popped like crazy. So what I did was I got it on. I didn't get it the day that we bottomed. I got it this day. Where am I sized to? All the way down here, which means I have very small size. Did the same thing with Wix. Size all the way down here. So small size, 86 shares, I think, or something like this, small size. So 
it was not an easy call. I mean, the the way we bottomed was the worst bottom I've ever seen. Unfortunately, it just wasn't easy. So my suggestion is don't chase because you'll get shaken out. Wait for that setup. I, I don't like this one, two, three. You want to try it, feel free. But I wouldn't personally. Um, you know, I'd wait for the setup. And then if the setup comes, at, as it will, at some point it will. Because look at the weekly. Doesn't look good. We have a declining 20. So at some point I think we'll get a setup. Monthly is good, but the weekly is not good. So at some point the, the multiple time frames will have to go in alignment. And once they do then you'll have your setup, uh, hopefully. Uh, I mean, we'll have our long-term entry. And then, you know, use, try to give it room. That's my only suggestion. Um, okay. I don't know if that helps at all, Paula. Um, I don't know, JC. It's, uh, I'm just telling you what my average. I could just tell it bottomed, double bottomed. I, I missed the bottom, so I just jumped in that day. Probably just over like a 15-minute base or something over here was kind of basing uh, so it wasn't a good entry but i'm sized all the way down to here so i'm not going to make much money on it even if it worked even if it ends up working because uh, i just have very small size on all the uh, the ones that i told you about the, that i'm in that triggered but and i have that see i think chgg though is an official play isn't it i have chgg i believe it's an official play um, so that I have that also as a long-term play. Anything that looks like this on the monthly, that down a lot so much into support, so check out. So I have a, I have a whole list for you if you wanna if you're interested. Some of it is already late. Oh, I posted some of it last week, I think. Uh, so here's the list, okay? List of uh, stocks that I like long-term. That I like. Long some of it again is a little bit late, but. Again, I don't think the market is gonna just keep going straight up. I think we'll come back because, down because we don't have multiple time frame alignments. So those are the things that I'm watching every day. And sometimes I add new plays, new new symbols, I mean, as I find them. Uh, some of them are just really late. Uh, very few are too, too late. Like the CTVA is just, I knew it was a good long, but it stopped out. What can I say? I don't know which day, maybe that day, probably that day, gapped under the base. So that's like, this one is maybe the only one that I know is just way, way too late on the CTV. But the rest of the stuff is good still. Good watches. Okay. Uh, Pan W, obviously we're in. Uh, DocU uh, should be in already. Uh, this is the most difficult one, by the way, because as a swing trade, it's already a target. So if you want to trail it, you know, under 93. But I think it's bottomed. So that's why I'm not trailing it. And the same, I'm, I'm having to deal with the same thing on, with, you know, the Y, I, and Y, I, and N. And I have 3,000 shares of it. It moves a lot. I mean, that looks awful right here. But I got it at the bottom, so I'm just hoping that it doesn't collapse on me and then that it eventually goes higher. The same with Baba. I, I got it at the bottom, you know. And uh, so I'm afraid... Uh, you know, I'm afraid I'll give it all back, but I'm hoping that some of the, like, yen is down 90%. I mean, 90% since the top last year. More than 90, probably. No, about 90. I got it at 314. So it dropped, yeah, more than 90. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to live through the volatility. It's it's easier to live through the, to hold through the volatility if you get a great entry. If you get a great entry, it's easy. If you don't get a great entry and your stop is, you know, like I did with the TQQ, my stop is here. If the market comes in, I'm going to get stopped out. So you see what I mean? So it's hard if you don't get in at the bottom. It, it, it's easy to get shaken out. It's hard to hold. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, I think DraftKings and pins are good to um, take a look at them. I, I saw this is tough because it's been basing at the lows. But I, I like the monthly on it. But yeah, the, the DraftKings is really tough. Uh, pins is better transitioning on the daily. And I think the monthly on it looks great. It looks good for a bounce back up, maybe to 50. Yeah. Um, all right. 
No, the yin and the baba, I call them as day trades, and I said if you know they work, we'll keep a swing. So that's why they were in the day trading room posted, but not in the newsletter. Okay, I rarely, rarely call new plays off the intraday charts swing. So what I do is if it works and I like it still higher, it closes at the end of the day, it closes at the high of the day, then I, I say, okay, let's just keep swing. So that's why. Um, okay. And I don't have, you know, and the yin and the baba are 100% are in my IRA account. So, you know, um, they're really long term. I just hope they don't, you know, collapse because they don't look good. If China gets involved in the war more than they already have, maybe then they might collapse so we'll see uh all right uh, yeah so the the last list ignore the previous alerts Th those were from last week those were long-term watches the 447 long-term watches okay the one the previous ones are from previous weeks it, it has the date so y you know you should have been able to see the date okay next to the post all right uh, okay so uh so i let's go ahead and do what we always do first and then oh reggie you know reggie everybody knows what, I, what you know almost everybody should know that because we've discussed it a lot in here which is reggie emailed me about you know what do i do if the stock gaps above my entry so you know what i do right guys i put my orders in the system the night before not even the morning of. I, I usually put them in the night before. Uh, so if the stock gaps above my entry, I will not even know it until later in the day. Okay, so I don't chase the stock. But sometimes, uh, so after I get off the mic in the morning, like at 10.30 or so, I go over the, the swing account and I go over the orders that I have open. And if I see that the stock gapped above my entry but it's setting up intraday and i i think it's gonna be it's gonna hold work and hold then i may take it i don't normally ch chase a stock that gapped above my entry so what i do is i wait for it to pull let's say i had a call on this over here long and it gapped to 30. i mean or it gapped above to 30 that would be like five bucks 20 percent of the stock's price no but let's just say it gapped above then i wait for it to pull back now, if it gapped just a little bit above and I see that it's not pulling back, then I may play it on, let's say, an intraday breakout or some kind of a pattern on the intraday chart. So use your common sense when it comes to plays that gap a little bit above your entry. Now, if they gap just a tiny bit above your entry, you should still get filled. Because you know why? Because you're supposed to give them room. If I call a play, let's just say over this price, 26.38, Okay, let's say your order goes in the system at 26.39, but your limit should be at 26.50 or so. You have to give it a little bit of room. So if the stock gaps to 45, you should still get filled. But if it gaps above your limit, let's say to 26.70, then I don't, I don't chase. I just wait for it to set up or to pull back down to my entry. Okay. But I actually have my orders in the night before. This way, I don't have to stress out about you know what to do at the open when the when stocks are triggering. I, you know, I don't go through. I don't hesitate. I don't have to go through. Oh, should I still do it? But the market doesn't look great. You know, if it looks good off the daily, I just put my order in the system the day before. Okay. Uh, so that you know, again, we've discussed that before. Um, so hopefully you guys know. Uh, not sure how many new people are in the room today. Okay, th sure. Uh, absolutely. Um, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, calls that were made today. And we'll talk. Uh, three of them triggered, actually. ABC was a breakout. Triggered and pulled back. I didn't like, didn't care for the pullback. It was pretty deep. So yeah, that wasn't a good, that wasn't cool. That it pulled back as much as it did uh, back down to break even basically close at break even so now when it pulls back like so now i'm left with the thought oh should i trail it to 
left with the question of whether I should trail it to the today's low or not because of the big topping tail. And it's not an easy call. It's not like there's a right or wrong answer. It's you have to make a judgment call and see what, you know, see if you're right or, or not. So it should not have, you know, if a stock, when a stock breaks out, it shouldn't get sold so much so that it turns into a big topping tail. So that's the issue with the ABC. I haven't decided yet about whether to raise the stop to today's low and call it a scratch or stick with the original stop, which is way down here. So I haven't decided. ARQQQ was a transition A on the daily chart, didn't trigger. Um, so that didn't trigger. The CAH, I don't know what happened. I didn't get a fill on the initial pop. I got a fill on the pullback. So it must have gapped above. I don't think it gapped above my limit. I'm sure it didn't. But what happened, what must have happened is it probably just didn't fill me. It was like spready or something like this. So I didn't get a fill in the morning and I, and I looked at it when I got off the mic and I was like, wow, can't believe I, I didn't get a fill. Later on, it got, it filled me. So it, it kind of did the same thing. They're both healthcare. They popped and then sold off. Not sure whether to raise the stop on, on them or not. I'll have to think about it. Uh, I thought three triggered. No, just two. The JBHT didn't even come close to triggering. I thought three plays trigger today. Um, but no, two, only two triggered. Oh, I know why. I played the URG, that's why. And which I played it with a $500 risk. And so 1,900 shares, which means a quarter, like, you know, 500 bucks instead of the typical $1,000. Uh, so that, that made two R's actually, but it, it made, and the target was in the newsletter was, uh, I'm sorry, not URG, URW, or UR, what was it? It doesn't matter. They're both. They both look exactly the same. UEC. The the target in the newsletter was 525, so it got exactly to 525. But I, you know, like I said, I only did did it with 1,900 shares, which is 500 dollar risk. So it, you know, it made about two hours, just shy of two hours, but uh, off of five, off of a small risk. I I didn't, you know, I called this long last week this day it triggered long uh, was it this one or the other one maybe the other one and then it stopped in the same day U W. what was the other one UEG no I forgot what the other one. URG URG this one I called it long last week it triggered and technically speaking if you kept it great but it technically speaking it stopped out I mean unless you were watching it or immediately after it triggered you put your stop in the system you probably didn't get stopped out shouldn't have I mean, unless, again, you had your stop in the... Because it, it still, the pattern looked good. It's just the morning volatility, probably. And um, so URG, U, UEC, or U, whatever, UEC, both energy. Uh, is it the same company? I don't think it is. UR energy, and then UEC has uranium energy. So they both look alike. This one did better today, uh, but they both on the daily one two three inside of a buy setup and then an hourly base breakout so that was the third one that i i was like i know i got three but i didn't know what they were okay so take a look at the open place from from the last week that we came into the day with okay here they are so a couple of them trailed out today um cnc um cnc i have it twice in the newsletter because one of them was from the earnings play way back way back here this day uh, I think no no this day this day that's when it uh, the initial play and I, I said in the at the end of the day keep it overnight because it looks good long term and then recently I also called it right here this day as a breakout because I, I really really like it on the daily but I like it more even on the monthly looks very good so CNC is a long term play okay all the healthcare stocks came in today this is the one that trailed today or one of the two, VMW. Uh, I lower the stop on it because I figured the market bottomed and it failed to make a new low here. Went back up, took out the pivot. I really wasn't sure whether to, to lower the stop or stick with the with right here with 120 something, 123, 121, not sure. 
but I decided to lower the stock. So this one on the back half trailed out. The front half got to target, and then the back half uh, is out uh, in the money too, on the back half, but is out, okay? In the money by like six bucks on the back. Uh, 3M, uh, 3M I got it this day, but uh, I thought it was gonna really stop out. And, um, and it came back in, didn't look good because of the market, and now it's starting to transition. So uh, you, it gave, I mean, the entry was at 144 something over this bar's high. If you wanted it, obviously it dropped four bucks below the entry or three dollars below the entry. So, uh, so this one looks higher still. If you, you know, if you don't have it, like it long term still, okay? And XGN, uh, looks nice but it's not moving very much monthly is not the best weekly looks good so this one looks good uh, still but it's not moving that much it's in the money by a dollar oh well, not quite a dollar not quite uh, 65 cents mo um called it long uh, i think this day when it broke out or he right here i don't remember exactly no, I couldn't have called it this day because then I would have gotten stopped out. So I must have called it here, this day. Popped, crashed, and it's starting to look higher again. So it looks good. MO. Uh, back to a tiny bit in the money. Tiny bit. Gold and the gold stocks look higher. I mean, GLD and the gold stocks like GOLD, which was played as a breakout right here. Um, AUY, they're looking higher again. Okay. So those look good, um, both in the money, especially the AUI. Tap, I like it long term. Look at the monthly on tap. Looks good. Didn't catch it at the bottom there, but did it as a buy setup um, on the tap. It was on March 9th, so probably this day. No, no, no. This day. One of these days. This day. So it hasn't gone anywhere yet. Um, the entry on it was at 53 so it's actually down a little bit still even though we've had it for a long time Pfizer is another so we talked about we talked about docu oh we'll talk about it in a minute too and then the other one that I think if you're not going to hold long term uh, you should I think should trail out is, are the Pfizer and the docu Pfizer would be under the sparse though under 5370 trail unless like me, you think this is good long term. If so, then just let it pivot against you. Let it pull back, I mean. But DocU and Pfizer. A DTE Energy looks good on the weekly. Uh, here as a 1, 2, 3, but it's not going. Funny how the DTE, the first time I, I spotted it, long right here, I, I didn't do it. I decided to pass. And as you can see, it worked. Now that I decided to do it, it did. It's not working. So I don't know. It still looks higher, but it, it, it's down a little bit. And it's really having a hard time going. We talked about the CNC already. And this is the docu. Beautiful. Uh, Reggie actually asked me about why my stop on docu $69.99. It was a typo. I meant $70.99. So I meant to put it under this bars though, under the daily lows. So, you know, so the share sizing is a little bit too small on this because of the mistake. So $69.99. And just like you, I have, you know, I, I have a column in the in newsletter that tells me what shares to get. So it's just, it calculates the shares. When I do $500, $1,000 per play or two or $2,000. So the fact that I typed in the stop wrong uh, means I'm undersized too on the docu but again this is into target if you want to hold it only as a swing if you don't think the market bottomed if you don't think the docu is not gonna keep going i think it will but if if not trail trail it to 93. uh what are your entry thoughts why did you take the trade um it, it, it gap fade it's an hourly base breakout there it is see how the 20 started to curl and it broke out so it's it's called a gap fade strategy it's taught in the strategic swing trader course which you've probably taken but i'm not sure okay 
didn't do it on the coop because the coop just kept going from day one boom same exact setup I mean same exact thing as the doc you on the daily and the monthly same exact thing but this one based so it gave me a base breakout on the hourly chart okay FSLR was the other thing that I trailed today because I while I still like it higher really nice daily buy setup it looked like it was gonna fail look at this so I trailed it today but I might get back in it tomorrow uh, over here I'll let you know I haven't decided yet but it's on my watches for tomorrow and we still have to go over the watch list I know we're kind of late we're running a little bit late today and CNA trailed also three I guess tra trailed today uh, this one was a same as the docu base breakout gap fade it uh, was good for a few days, but um, it trailed today, so, okay. A CRK, this one gapped a little bit above the entry, so hopefully it got filled on the limit, but it gapped, you know, eight cents above the entry. Still looks higher. I like it a lot on the monthly. I don't know if it's going to really go or not, because oil already exploded, so why is this not, you know, why is the monthly still lagging? But it looks amazing on the monthly chart. I just don't think it's gonna do it. It might, but it, you know, it might not. So we'll see on the CRK, a long term play. CHGG, long term play. Not my favorite setup on the daily, but I just like the monthly and the weekly a lot. So that's the monthly, that's the weekly. Daily is good too, but it wasn't a great entry, it was like up here. So it's in the money by a little bit. It's in the money by $292. I mean, very little. Pan W is, as you know, is my pick for for 2022. I mean, I don't think this is going to do the best because it, it never pulled back. And some of the things that collapsed, which we know a lot of stocks collapsed 90%, 80%. This thing never budged. Uh, so I think those stocks will probably do better than the Pan, Pan W. But the Pan W is just the the relative strength on it is incredible so this one triggered uh, I don't know if it was Friday or Thursday over this over the pivot right here it wasn't the best setup it was like a W but I I didn't you know it wasn't a better setup so okay so we'll see this is a long-term play the stop stays here not touching it long-term play Rita triggered as a base breakout and uh, nice monthly I mean, what a nice monthly, but who's to say it's going to work on the monthly? Weekly is already at the declining 20, and today we got a reversal bar. So feel free to trail it to this bar as low. It was up an R today, but it came in a little bit. I mean, uh, as of Friday, it was up an R, one R. And then today it came in a little bit. Feel free to trail it. DDS today came in, triggered on Friday over the base. Um, still in the money by four bucks, but... Uh, definitely came in a little bit today we'll see okay this is this is nice i just hope it works out nice base breakout um okay hope it works out we'll see so a lot of a lot of plays for sure it's almost i'm all, already tired just going over the plays <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of open plays and all the shorts trailed out including today the vmw um now uh, again, I'm looking to to get into to accumulate longs because I think the market has bottomed. Okay, let me show you the watch list for tomorrow. Uh, but I'll give you a minute to ask questions if you have if you have any questions. Let me know, and I'll be right back. I'm actually gonna grab a drink here real quick. Okay, and then let me know if any questions, and then we'll go over the watch list. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, no questions. Good. That sounds good. Let's take a look at the shorts. Shorts, 
I mean, I'm fine shorting if there's something, you know, that looks good, but I don't think there's a lot of good looking shorts out there. Birds, very weak. It's not my play because we have a flat 20. I like the breakout failure on it. EVLV. EVLV, I had a call on it last week, but it didn't trigger. Um, not sure. It needs to take out a dollar fifty nine. Then it's a short. So it looks lower, but not sure for now. I'll let it let it go. Fossil is a sell setup. ANF is a sell setup. But I just I try not to do. I try not to short stocks that rally really hard on the first sell setup. So ANF today triggered. Uh, it wasn't the newsletter, but I wasn't gonna do it. Um, and then fossil similar you can try it under this bar's low stop above so today's low stop above today's high 50 cents and then target probably target one nine bucks target two eight dollars okay so fossil hsc looks better it triggered already today it was in the newsletter too it is a rounding top but uh, the reason why i didn't take it because i probably would have taken it is the r to r i think that's the target on it and if that's the target, it doesn't, then it wouldn't have enough reward to risk. I don't think it's coming all the way back down to 11 bucks. If I thought it was coming, it was going to sell off all the way down to 11, I would have done it today. So that trigger, it still looks lower. JRVR, I don't remember what it looks like. Okay, it's just weak. It would be a one, two, three if this bar is low, if this bar closed at the bottom. Uh, so it's, it's hard to do it as a short because it, it's not at the bottom. This one looks good, actually. LFT. As a short under this bar's low. Thursday, Friday's low, which is 275. Stop over 288. It's a 1, 2, 3 plus a breakout failure right here. So kind of interesting. LFT. And then road looks beautiful on the weekly and the daily. But you have to zoom out to see it. So, And then it's a big stop. Short under the base, stop above it. So that's difficult. Otherwise, really like that rounding top, like the weekly base a lot. Um, look, some people, I mean, you know, a lot of people probably don't think that the market is bottomed. If you're one of them, you know, on Friday, somebody said, uh, no, we're still going to have a recession, most likely. If you think we're, we're still going to go through a recession, it means the market didn't really bottom. This was just temporary, a temporary bounce, right? So don't start accumulating all these long-term plays if you think, or trade, play them like swing, like dock you out tomorrow under the spars low if it takes it out. Pfizer out under Friday's low, PFE. So if you don't think the market has bottomed and we still have more selling to, to come, then, um, then I would not... Uh, then I, I would just trail tight. I, I wouldn't, you know, I would trail tight. Okay. I know Tom, but it doesn't always capitulate. That's the problem. It doesn't always capitulate. If it on, if it always capitulated, it just would make our lives so much easier. Because then it's easy to tell the market is bottoming. But um, it doesn't always capitulate. That's the issue. And sometimes, and the hardest bottom to for me to to, to do is to, to predict is when it's a double bottom or a triple bottom. Uh, that's the hardest. So so that's the issue. If it if we had capit I mean if we had capitulated then it would have been really easy. And I would not have waited two days, two huge green bars before getting into the market. So that's the problem is it was a really difficult bottom. But I think we've bottomed for now. Uh, in the meantime, you know, or, or over the course of the next few weeks, I don't think we're going to go right back up like so. I think it's going to be more like, you know, maybe we move up, but if we do, we'll come back down. That's what I think is going to happen is we either, you know, I mean, we're going to be range bound, whether we move up or come in. And then until April, when the monthly will trigger, you know, we'll, we'll get the monthly buy setup. Notice on the monthly chart too, the, look at the size of the red bar. Do I like to play? Do I normally say yes to playing a long a pullback play after a wide range bar starting the move down? I don't. But it's just, you know, when if you miss the bottom, it's, I mean, 
like this pullback, it wasn't even that. It wasn't even as good. We rallied for two years in a row. This pullback, we rallied for almost a whole year. Not not quite, but look at the rally. Is my point. So I'm trying not to miss it, um, in case we rally and, and and you know and and just try to hang on to the to the place that I have uh, that I identified as long-term holds to tr try and hang on to them uh, to them and not get shaken out basically all right so we talked about the shorts not going to do any shorts um, here's the longs we have a lot of these transition a plays but they don't look all that great okay so since we have a lot of items on the list here I'm only going to go over the ones that I think are really good swing or the long-term plays so you know this is tough I'm gonna pass but it's a very very nice daily chart it's tough because the weekly right into the declining 20 so it's not not a long-term play for me so I'm gonna pass our call is really bullish one two three on the daily chart sort of not exactly this bar is too big to call it a one two three but looks higher if it can clear the spars high. So not for tomorrow, maybe for the day after. ASTR is one, two, three on the daily chart. And this one um, still has room to go up to here. Maybe to six bucks. Has a one, two, three. If anybody wants to try it over 477, stop under 434. I'm gonna pass. B cell one, two, three looks better. Th this one looks better. Uh, this one I'll put on the favorites list long but swing only maybe to five dollars so this is interesting BCEL uh, CABA is oh it's a transition A but the 20 is still pointing down I have a lot of these I mean a lot of items that look like the C CAB most of them I kept off my watches like the ALLK it, it looks even better uh, MNTS uh, I, I don't know SCNA I think I mean there's a few of these that have transition A on the daily that I, I didn't even put on the list Dow is a monthly buy setup so feel free to do it but it, it doesn't have a ton of room to the prior high so that's not going to make a lot of money. So I'm not going to do it. But it's a monthly buy setup. Looks good. Chemical. And the chemicals have been really bullish. FSLR, we talked about it. I tightened the stop on it. Really tight to break even. Uh, no, better than break even, actually. So it trailed. But I may get back in it because I feel that the solar stocks have bottomed for sure. That's how I feel. Solar stocks bottomed. The GBIO, transition A on the daily chart. It's a transition A breakout. Um, now this one looks nice. Uh, long over over six bucks. Stop under 520, 532. Target about $8.30. $8 maybe. Not so sure. I'm going to let it go. But it does look nice. GBIO. Growing. Uh, it's not growing. It's just going sideways. Uh, it's a nice day s base on the daily, but nice monthly. Nicer monthly, I would say. On the GRWG. Tough daily because it's, it's a flat 20, so I'll let it go for now. Uh, Hudson looks higher. One, two, three. This one looks good, but we'd have to give it the big stop. Okay, I'd have to give it the 540. So it's a really big stop, but for sure like it higher Hudson goes on the favorites HYPR another transition A on the daily chart looks like it bottomed look at the volume look at the volume on the HYPR it looks higher to about here 510 JBHT I had a call on it it didn't look like it was going to trigger tell you the truth but if it did I want it to be in and I still want to be in it for tomorrow if if it pops here so this one is probably going to be valid for tomorrow as well because if it pops it'll be nice I mean it'll be above all these candles above the 20 JBHT JBL is like a one two three on the daily chart what's nice about it is the gap here cleared the resistance so the entry would be above should be above the resistance too 
what I don't like about it is I don't feel like I could put the stop under 61.97 which is today's low I'd have to give it to Friday's low which is 67 so it's a big stop but it looks like it's bottomed Juniper remember how I talked about the pound W being super bullish Juniper is almost just as bullish did not pull back with the market much at all market crash Juniper stayed I don't know if it's at all time high but oh no it's not but still it's at last year's high looks higher to 45 so I like the Juniper long term as well um, I like the relative strength on it but it's a tough entry no entry maps is a one two three after transition a but it's it's up a lot already in the last couple of days four, four green bars in a row pretty much uh, I'm gonna take a look at the monthly and the weekly on it uh, yeah weekly is tough monthly is better I think it goes to 10 bucks or so on the on the maps uh, 3m we talked about looks higher still if you're not in it I was thinking about adding to it over here but then I would have to raise the stop and I can raise the stop to here but it's not much different than the original stop so this is this one's hard to add to MTTR transition in it, um, on the monthly on the daily chart down so much off the from the top but uh, it's also difficult because of the flat 20 and it's not exactly the entry is not it's not like we're getting it right off the 20 all right we're not uh, but looks higher over 850 or so so I'm just just to watch I was surprised I didn't do the NKTR long uh, that was last week like on Wednesday or so it had a good hourly chart too I was surprised here long over the base boom in it but I didn't do it surprised because it looked good and still looks good higher uh, over um, over the base basically on the hourly chart long above it stop below it I don't think I'll be doing it but I'll put it on the favorites and think about it okay Oracle is one of my favorite monthly charts looks gorgeous problem is the problem is is if we play it as a monthly buy setup not gonna make much money at all not even two to one and if I do it let's just say over off the daily as a breakout where would I put the stop not sure here maybe but it's hard there would be much safer but too big so I, I keep going back and forth about the Oracle I want to do it because I really like that monthly but I don't feel comfortable using the tight stop and the big stop will not make any money so not sure though as I said I really like it long long term the pan W um, a possible add to the pan W and go to two thousand dollar risk over 578.25 stop 509 because remember I like the pan W a lot so I may add to it I'm not sure uh, red box one two three but it's not at the top you know this bar is high is not in the upper third so it's it's hard down so much already transitioned on Friday and has a one two three REVB it's tough flat 20 but it's a transition ignore um, REXR let's take a look at the weekly it's a weekly buy setup for sure very deep so gonna pass okay those are a little bit difficult especially last two I don't really need to watch them uh, T A N H uh, possible breakout on the monthly, on the hourly, on the hourly chart. Looks good, but it, it was a secondary offering. T A N H, okay. A tiger one two three, um, not too sure. Over six bucks. T I R X transition A on the daily chart, hourly base breakout over a dollar twenty, stop under. I would say under here under a dollar looks good oh it's very very thin 140,000 shares it's too thin for me even by myself UAVS transition a on the daily and 
nice volume on that day which was last week Wednesday or so nice volume uh, breakout hourly is tough because I'd want to get in here and not wait yeah maybe I will you know right there a little bit stop right here as opposed to waiting for 120 to get taken out so I'll put it on the favorites I don't think that's a good long term though because if you look at the weekly chart 20 MA is not too far above uh, so okay but it's an idea not gonna call it in the in the newsletter UNP is very bullish but I have a hard time making money on this stock it always like seems to shake me out looks higher over the base stop below the red bars though it's not a pretty setup it's not a tight stop either so I'm gonna let it go and then the XPO gapped up on earnings and base breakout over here looks all right nothing you know to write home about or you know but over the base stop below it so I have a few things here but I, I didn't know wh when I came on the mic that the watch list for today was going to be difficult because I, I don't think these are all these are easy plays JBHT is from today and that will be valid for tomorrow but the other stuff I'll have to think about anything else any questions or any plays that you want yeah let's take a look um, all right let's do it ALF GD um, okay ALF appears to have bottomed um, Tracy weekly is like the UAVS into the 20 on the weekly so not gonna be a long-term play but it looks like it transitioning on the daily chart so I like it but only as a swing okay on the ALF and GD is a buy setup but deep sloppy pullback uh, you might find uh, the, some of the other ones better uh, wh what are the other uh, defense stocks NOC identical almost to the GD is a buy setup but very very sloppy uh, BA yeah BA is different it's, it's like I know it's defense but it's also air, an airline maker so it's a little bit different yeah LMT and there is one more which is RT or RTE or something yeah our LMT GD and NOC look identical RTN thank you uh, Raytheon or it used to be RTN what is it now um thought it was still R maybe RTE or no RT forgot what it is LHX I'll take a look Claudio yeah they look identical RTK got it RTK RTX what is it RTX Raytheon they just changed their symbol yeah they all look alike so and I don't really like them if you're in them already like if you got it right here then good because it looks higher stop right here but for us to get it like up here tomorrow and with the stop being down here then no good yeah too big of a stop too sloppy okay but if you got it already Diego I think it's nice uh, yeah yeah the two two do doji bars there yeah so long right here stop there good um, all right uh, let's see ALF we talked about GD we talked about Nike was a, is a sell setup on the daily chart but I'm not sure you know it's down so much I would have looked at it as a short not as a long obviously but because it it's down so much also accelerated a little bit so here's the downtrend and then here's that acceleration a little bit so downtrend excel so the first sell setup usually fails so and I'm I'm definitely not doing any yeah but it would be a short correct but I'm, I'm definitely not doing any earnings plays until until what until we start uh, next quarter because this quarter was tough and I, I just I'm, I got too much going on uh, so I'm, I'm not gonna do any earnings plays for now I'm just done with earnings plays until next quarter but I'll take a look at them happy to and CCL um, very sloppy the sell setup here failed uh, and it's also you know something like CCL it's gonna be a lot of the time it's gonna be about what the what they say about the economy 
like what the CEO thinks, if, you know, the economy is going to do, not so much about the earnings on the CCL. But yeah, it's like a, it's a sell setup. Uh, I'd rather do something like the CCL, honestly, than Nike, because I know when they accelerate, it's just not a good idea. And I feel this accelerated. In fact, the biggest bottoming, t the biggest volume bar came at the bottom, at the very lowest bar. So that's the issue with it. Uh, but CCL is too sloppy. So I wouldn't have done either, um, Reggie, but okay. Oxy, Oxy's at the highs. It triggered today a breakout. I wouldn't have done it. It was extended. Uh, but yeah, Oxy was a breakout. Do I like it still? No. But yeah, uh, Oxy. Rig, uh, Rig honestly didn't move very much. I mean, it did have that nice pop, but check out the monthly on Rig. Look at the weekly. It's one of the very few stocks that have not participated with the rally in USO. So, so yeah, I don't know. But it has a daily buy setup. I just wouldn't do it. Uh, for sure, gas and TRVG. Gas was a buy setup this day or over here. So it's too late now on the gas but I'll look at it on multiple time frames to see if it looks really good on the larger time frames and it doesn't at all it looks horrible so I wouldn't chase it at all it's gone for now in my opinion and then TRVG I don't know what that looks like mm, sideways so don't see anything to do with the T TRVG it's not a buy setup it's not so normally I look for stocks that are basing at the highs for a base breakout or stocks that are uptrending and then give us a pullback or stocks that pop and then give us kind of a one two three okay that's a one two three but if something has a flat 20 and you know this is actually like a sell setup short i i wouldn't bother okay mullen today uh gapped up funny i knew the mullen was higher but i was never able to get in it as a swing gapped up and then collapsed i did do that scalp off the lows today off on mullen which was nice i i didn't hold it at all because it's just so wild but it was a nice play uh i did pretty well today uh in the day trading account uh let's see i yeah i made 10k today in the day trading account uh, sark I, I think i'll take a look at it i think this one topped out this is the inverse of the arc and arc i think bottomed but it's so hard you know we'd have to get a base first or continue higher and then get a pullback so it's just too hard so uh, sark is the opposite so you know you're thinking maybe long that's too deep of a pullback uh, you're thinking maybe arc short too strong of a rally so i wouldn't do either okay in my opinion so the sark is way too deep of a pullback like a breakout over here failure okay look at that that's not a long i mean that's not what you look to do as a long it may it may move up if the market collapses or something or if the market drops it'll move up but after you know after a collapse like this you usually don't want to be the one buying it off the bottom okay it's too deep uh, what else any other questions thoughts ideas whatever let me know okay so we covered a lot uh today we do we did what we always do but uh, we had a lot of plays to go over a long watch list and a lot of open plays too so as i said uh, you're quite welcome reggie as i said in my opinion the market is bottomed if i'm wrong well i guess i'll pay the price but because i think the market has bottomed i'm trying to accumulate a lot of uh, long-term plays and hold on to them so that's the goal I, it would have been so much better if I had known the market was gonna bottom that day okay if I had known that was the bottom it would have been so much better because then I would have got, gotten into all the ones that I'm just getting into now and then got in the last couple of days when the market was at the lows which means most stocks were at the lows too so but it was hard I, there was just no way for me to know that this was going to be the bottom no way 
No car. Uh, thanks again. Oh, of course. Happy to always answer your questions. Uh, okay, Paula, and uh, and everybody else, of course. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed today's coaching, and uh, hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing great. I'll talk to you next week. If you're in the day trading room with me, I will talk to you in the morning. Be there bright and early. Thanks. Have a good night. Take care.